Logan. Come here. So it was Logan's idea to watch Salem's Lot last night. Who said that? You said that. I, I never said I wanted to watch that. But don't you like horror movies? Now I do. You watch Final Destination, all of them. Storm. Final Destination was a horror movie? What do you think Final Destination was? Mystery. You thought Final Destination was a mystery like Scooby Doo? <laughs> Say hi. Hi. All right, well, first, let's talk about Salem's Lot. Stephen King's Salem's Lot has been a staple of horror literature since its publication in 1975. The novel, which tells the story of a small town under siege by vampires, has been adopted for both television and film. The latest adaptation, released in 2024 on HBO Max, has been praised for its faithful adherence to the source material and its chilling atmosphere. While the 2024 Salem's Lot is a remake of the 1979 miniseries, it offers a fresh take on the story. An author by the name of Ben Mears returns to his hometown of Jerusalem's Lot in search of inspiration for his next book, only to discover that the townspeople are being attacked by a bloodthirsty vampire. Mears, the writer who spent part of his childhood in Jerusalem's Lot, Maine, also known as Salem's Lot, has returned after 25 years to write a book about the long-abandoned Marston House, where he had a bad experience as a child. He soon discovers that an ancient evil has come to town and turning people of the lot into vampires. He vows to stop the plague of undead and save the town. With this new fresh take, it adds a contemporary exploration of themes like fear, isolation, and the darkness that lurks within us all. Ben Mears is played by Lewis Pullman, Susan Norton played by Mackenzie Lay, then you got my boy Mark Petrie played by Jordan Preston Carter, Dr. Cody played by Alfre Woodard, Matt Burke played by Bill Camp, Father Callahan played by John Benjamin Hickey, then you have Kurt Barlow played by by Alexander Ward, the very powerful vampire who has come to Salem's Lot to take over town. Now, Ben Mears and Mark Petrie are two people that's from out of town coming into Salem's Lot, and you want to keep a key eye on that. Without giving away too much, that is something that stands out by the end of the movie. Both the 1979 miniseries and the 2024 film adaptations offers unique interpretations of Stephen King's classic novels. Some of the comparisons have key elements, elements like tone and atmosphere. The 1979 miniseries leans more towards a slow burn, atmospheric horror, while the 2024 film takes on a more action-oriented approach. Then you have character development. The 1979 adaptation dives deeper into character development, while the 2024 film focuses more on the horror elements. Then you have the fidelity of the novel. The 1979 miniseries is generally considered more faithful to the novel, while the 2024 film just takes itsy bitsy pieces <laughs> From the book. Then let's talk about horror elements. The 1979 miniseries relies on psychological horror, while the 2024 film incorporates more explicit violence. The visual style. The 1979 miniseries has a more grounded visual style, while the 2024 film utilizes modern filmmaking techniques. So the newest edition of Salem's Lot was originally announced in 2019 and shot in 2021, with additional photography set in 2022. The the film's release was delayed multiple times for reasons I don't know why I gotta do some research. But this movie has had its world premiere as the opening film at the Beyond Fest on September 25th, 2024 and was released on HBO Max on October 3rd, 2024. The film has had mixed reviews from critics. Critics praised its atmosphere but criticized its lack of depth. On Rotten Tomatoes, it has a 44% approval rating and at 49 out of 100 score on Metacritic. Dread Central and The Bloody Disgusting gave it a two out of five stars. Citing its lack of terror and emotional depth. Whether you're a fan of Stephen King's work or simply enjoy a good horror film, Salem's Lot is definitely worth checking out. This modern adaptation captures the spirit of the original novel while offering a fresh and terrifying take on the vampire mythos. Honestly, one of the strengths of the 2024 Salem's Lot is its ability to create a truly unsettling atmosphere. The film is filled with eerie imagery, haunting sound design, and a sense of impeding doom that keeps viewers on the edge their seats now me personally i really enjoyed the movie as i said man i have three children i have a 14 year old boy a 10 year old boy and a four year old daughter 
I put the four-year-old daughter to bed before we watched the movie. But my middle child, my 10-year-old boy Logan, loves horror. When I saw it was released on HBO Max, I made sure we watched it before we go to bed as we are officially in spooky season. I've heard about the novel before, but I knew nothing about the film. I really knew nothing of the story. So watching my son and me come up with this as vampires and not just kind of like the dead walking, that was really interesting. The movie kept my excitement. The movie kept my attention from beginning to end. And I really recommend that you guys watch this movie and let me know what you think in the comments section below.